So today I'm going to be interviewing my dad. Say hi, dad. Hello. <laughs> okay, we're going to be talking about the um, civil rights movement. So, dad, how was life coming up as an African American in the 1960s and early 1970s? Well, I was born in 1952, and my mother married my stepfather in 1957. And we was in, he was in the service. So in the service, uh, in the service, everybody, white, black, Hispanic, they all went to the same school. And so I never really had any problem at that time. And so at that time, and uh, we moved to, uh, Federal, North Carolina, and that's Fort Bragg. And then when we went to the movies, we had to go to Fedville. And at that time, the blacks had to go in the rear door and go upstairs to the balcony. Mm -hmm. And uh, the whites would go in the front door and they would sit downstairs. So that was the first time I had was involved in any black white confrontation and such. And then uh, I guess it was, and then I, I, after we came back, we went to Germany. And uh, like I said, in service, there was all blacks, white, and Hispanics. <laughs> all blacks, white, Hispanics, all went to the same schools and played on the same sports team. So like I said, in the military at that time, there was really no, no uh, segregation. Everybody got along together. And then and we came back from uh, Germany. We were stationed back at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. And then uh, we would always come to Atlanta to visit my uncle. His name was uh, Wilson Brown. And uh, we'd always visit on Auburn Avenue, the NCLC offices. That's a Southern Christian Leadership Conference. That's where I met uh, Martin Luther King, Joseph Lowry, Hosea Williams, and my uncle also, Wilson Brown. He was part of SCLC. And I uh, was there. I, they didn't have them printers back then, so I ran a random mimeograph machine to run off all the flyers for the uh, conference. And uh, me and my stepfather was in the service. He wasn't able to uh, participate in any of the marches or anything. And so uh, my uncle was with Hosea Williams, Martin Luther King, and Joe B. Lowell when they uh, marched from uh, what, Montgomery to Selma. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's where I know more, most about that because my uncle was involved in all the civil rights movement. And so that's about all uh, my involvement in the civil rights. Okay, so was there any time that you faced like um, a race? type thing towards you or anything? No, like I said, I've been in the service. I never was confronted with any problems. Okay. Um, do you think that like today we have made progress or anything? Well, I could say for myself that we have, but they say it depends on your situation that you're in. I have not been in a situation to say that I had been uh, racially, uh, you know, involved. And like I say, the younger generation, they are more out there in the public than I was. And so I consider that, uh, that uh, people of, of the young age, they put themselves in harm's way and uh, been making, giving themselves where the police act against them in aggressive in aggressive way. 
but I don't, and still they shouldn't. The police should have more con concern and and not be involved in the shootings of that and, and take their time and, and investigate the problem instead of just acting on it and having so many young blacks being shot and killed. Okay, Dad. Thank you. You answer all my questions without me even asking. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay.